Hi there, it's Tuesday the 12th of May 2020 and this week we're looking at the life of Jesus. Jesus who knew exactly who he was and what he was called to do, what the sociologists called self-actualized. Jesus knew himself and revealed himself through seven different statements in John's Gospel where he said, I am, and then went on to reveal something about himself which was true. Those words, I am, refer back to the revelation which God gave of himself in the book of Exodus to Moses when he said, Moses, I am who I am. I am all that you can imagine. I am all that there is. I am. And when Jesus said, I am, he was referring to himself first and foremost as God. He knew who he was. He knew he was God. His first statement in John's Gospel we looked at yesterday when he said, I am the bread of life. In other words, he is the staple food of life, not food for the body, but food for the soul. If you need nourishment in your life, if you feel dry and empty inside, then you need Jesus and his word in your heart. The next time he spoke, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. In John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. That word light is the Greek word phos, and it means illumination. In other words, Jesus is saying, I will bring illumination into your life. I will shine my light on your life and on the things of life. I will show my light for a purpose, to show you the way to live in life. If you don't know how to live, if you're struggling to cope with life, then you need Jesus in your life to shine his light into your life and on the path that you take through life. My mum and I once went down a Welsh slate mine and we were crawling along or walking along with our heads bowed this narrow path until we eventually reached this big cave following the little lights along the tunnel. In the cave, the guide said to us, now ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're standing in a safe spot. I'm going to switch the lights off. Well, I have never experienced darkness like that in all my life. I thought I knew what darkness was. But you've never experienced darkness until you have been down a Welsh mine in pitch black. The darkness was scary. It was tangible. It was oppressive and very disconcerting. And we were so relieved when he switched the lights back on again and we could see once again as light illuminated our path. When that verse that Jesus spoke says that he was talking about people walking in darkness That word darkness, the Greek word skotia, means not just an absence of light, but spiritual darkness, moral darkness. And we see that in life, don't we? We see sometimes people that we we see darkness in. There's some kind of wickedness, some kind of evil you can see in their eyes and the way they talk, the way they behave, and you think that's just not right. Sometimes we see that in communities and sometimes even in nations to an extent. Sometimes we even see it in our own hearts. There is darkness, there is moral compromise, there are things that we do that we know that we shouldn't do. That is the darkness which is in the world because of sin. And Jesus says, I am the light to come and bring you out of darkness, to shine my light into those dark, immoral areas in your life so that you can be rid of those, so your life can be changed by the power of his spirit and so that you can truly walk in light. But Jesus went on to make another interesting point about the light of the world. And just a chapter later, in chapter 9, verse 5, he says, While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Of course, Jesus knew that he wasn't going to remain in the world. He was going to die on the cross for our sins, rise up again from the dead, and go back to heaven to be with his Father once again. So in one sense, Jesus is no longer in this world. Now, God's presence, of course, is in this world, in every single part of this world. But Jesus no longer walks in this world as he once did. He went on to say in Matthew 5, verse 14, to his disciples, you are the light of the world. In other words, Jesus is saying, I am present in this world now through you, through Christians. Every Christian who has confessed their sin as Jesus, as God to forgive them, now has Jesus living in their hearts. If you're a Christian, then Jesus is within you. And Christian, you're the light of the world. We are the light of this world. This is how the light shines in the world now, through Jesus. It shines through Christians. It is Christians who take God's word, which is light, 
and preach that word and speak that word and share it on YouTube and WhatsApp and Facebook and Messenger and email and in every way possible takes the word, the Bible, and gives it to people to read, preaches it from the pulpit, although not just now during lockdown, of course. But we are the light of this world. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whether that light is shining through Christians, through the Bible, through his word, in whatever way he is shining, he says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Are you following Jesus and knowing his light in your life? God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.